All right, guys, welcome back to. We got, you don't recognize these here. These are called, well, this is 800 count storage box for sports cards. That must be 700 and 700. We're just going to go ahead and go with this one first today, and then we'll get to these other two at a later time. I know it's in here, but I don't remember which box is which. So we're going to start right here. All right, so I got this one for nine eighty nine. Pretty sure I. Oh, this isn't. This isn't the one I thought it was. Oh well. If that's correct. I don't know if it is or not. Look on the cardboard right here. We got two hundred sixty from the seventies, one hundred fifty eight from nineteen eighty, two hundred forty five from the eighties. Miscellaneous stickers, etc. So this is going to take a minute to go through all these. Let's see. Let's just start from the beginning. Looks like we got 1970 tops. Uh, Steve Hunts. He's the one who invented ketchup. Hunts ketchup. Oh, that's Heinz. Never mind. Then we got Jim Ray. Everybody remembers Jim Ray. Ah, and the old 71 tops cards. Are these cut? Let's see might have been shaved which is very common with the 71 tops what the hell is that great stuff falling everywhere all right so we got jim ray of the astros it's very cool was that houston's they've been in the existence for those or third year um 71 very common to trim these cards up to make them look in much nicer condition than what they uh really are put my uh, mountain view over here sorry about that so we got Oscar Gamble from the Phillies. Here's another Philly. Eddie Money's brother, Don Money. Again, just kidding with that reference. Ken Singleton. Is this his rookie card? Might be. All right, then the Padres, we got Steve Arlen, Al Severine, Clarence Gaston, Fred Norman, oh. Dave Campbell, longtime guy on uh, Baseball Tonight, at least when I used to watch it back in the 90s, early 2000s. Ah, the inevitable Enzo Hernandez, not end zone as in touchdown. Got uh, doubles of that one. Then we got. <laughs> wait a minute. Big old wad of gum. Is this the same one? Nope, Steve Arlen. Yeah, Al Severinson. Gary Jestrid. Padres had some no namers back then. Career minor leaguer. Jim Spencer. Clyde, two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> well, <laughs> two, two rights don't make a wrong. Wait, I don't know. I screwed that up. Billy Cohen, nice halo right above his head. That's a nice touch. Mahalo. Good job there, Tops. Hey. Do, does one wrong make three rights? Uh, Sid O'Brien, looking like um, Roger Dorn in Major League there with the getting ready to Olay it. Look at the stirrups. Real lost art there. Bill Spaceman Lee. This looks like when he was probably somewhat sane. So this was, sorry guys, gray borders, 1970 tops. Black borders, 1971. This is one of my favorite. Um, designs of the 70s was the 72 tops definitely shout 70s there and this was kind of a boring design of the 70s Bill Lee let's see yep. Rich Morales 
Tom T. Hall. Ken Singleton. Hey, another Dave Campbell sighting. Well, another Ken Singleton sighting. And then another Dave Campbell sighting. Pat Bork. Probably not at the best angle here. I'll try to reposition myself. Pat Bork. Oh, try not to knock everything over here. Definitely don't want to do that. Horatio Peña. Traded. This was uh, high number six. Yeah, five. No, no. This was... I believe that came out as a set it's itself. Um, it started in 72. Or... Man. Dude, I've been so out of cards. <laughs> 74, it wasn't 76, it was 72. I'm pretty sure it was 72 traded, then 74 traded. And we didn't see our first real traded set until 1981. We got Ramon Hernandez, Nelson Bryles, Don Neuhauser, Bobby Darwin, Danny Thompson. Kind of go through these. This is 1974 tops, the ones that kind of have the pennants. Uh, Rudy Mioli. Hey, Rudy. Shortstop, how many jacks did he have? Basically nothing. Ike Brown. This looks like the bus driver from grade school. Ike Brown. He had 20 jacks up to that point. Ken Forsh. Decent pitcher in his time. We got Claude Osteen. Bob Watson, and then go into one of the most popular, if not the most popular, set from the 70s. This is 1975. It came out in a standard size issued card, and they also had a mini set, which is obviously more, I shouldn't say obviously, to me it's obvious, because I've collected cards for a long time, or haven't for quite a few years now, but did for a long time. 75 Tops Minis was well, definitely a nice set. Rorick Harrison, Sonny Siebert. Ah, here's Terry Forster, Mike Marshall, leading fireman. Saves, relief wins, points, whatever weird stat line that is. Jeff Zahn, pitcher. This card's bent to heck. Now one of and maybe the most boring. Uh, set designs of the 70s was 76 tops. Ken Rudolph, Mario Guerrero, Ron LaFleur, Eric Crosby, Jack Brohammer. You know, so far it's been nothing but comments, but Ted Buskey, Joe McIntosh, Randy Hunley. Randy Hunley, was he a manager at one point for somebody or still is? I don't remember. Kevin Corbell, I mean Cobell. Wayne Twitchell. Ah, here's a name that you may know. Dave Concepcion. Decent player in his time with the big red machine. Mike Thompson. And it's Tokayo Mike Caldwell. Look at this hat. Ugly, horrible, but probably worth money. Lynn McLaughlin. Bill Singer. Doesn't look like much of a singer. Roger Metzger. I That was taken, that picture right there was taken in Candlestick Park, which no longer exists. Recognize that field from a mile away. Rick Sawyer. Nice in-action shot there, there from good old Rick. Uh, hey, Bobby Valentine. I never knew he played with the Padres. He played for about everybody. Cool. Uh, Who is he managing now? He's managing somebody. Who did he go to? Totally out of it with baseball. Bobby Valentine. They had Dodgers, Angels, Padres. So he apparently his um, first eight or nine years in the league said, you know what, I'm only going to play in Southern California. But that's never happened before. Uh, through his first, what... 
pretty sparingly career. First seven, eight years, he was a 270 hitter. Norm Sherry, Angels team card. Got Ron Jackson, Orlando Ramirez, Gary Ross. He invented uh, the Ross retail chain. No, I'm just kidding. Ron Jackson, Bruce Bochy. Ah, we got Enzo Hernandez back. Marv Redman, again. Fred Kendall. Fred Kendall is the dad of former catcher Jason Kendall. Pretty darn good player in his own right. Never watched his dad play. He was a little bit too young. John Lowenstein. Sal Bando. Pat Scanlon. Jerry Turner. Nice sideburns, Jerry. There's that Mar Rittman guy again. Dan Spilner. Nice. Oh, talk about burns. Ah, Bill Allman. Look at this. Almost looks like Uncle Rico there. Throwing that baseball over the mountains back in 81, even though... All right, I messed up. <laughs> talk about on the fly. This is 77 tops. When you get this little pennant thing here. 77, and then you get into... And you get the... Cursive writing down here. This is 78 tops. Now let's see. Let me go back a step further. Yeah. Whoa. Shoot. Let's knock that over. Uh, 1970 tops. I'm trying to remember what rookie card. 70 tops was Thurman Munson. That's about all I can remember. 71. Steve Garvey. Uh, somebody else was from 71. Day. I can't remember. Um, Burt Blylevin, Burt Blylevin, Burt Blylevin, rookie card was from 71. 72 had Carlton Fisk, was the big one. He had to share it with Cecil Cooper, I believe. Uh, who else? 72 tops, 72 tops. That's the one that comes to my mind. 73 was Mike Schmidt, which I had at one point. Got it in a big lot back in like 2001. Mike Schmidt. That was, um, I think, a prospects card with two other players on it. 74 was Dave Winfield. Was probably the biggest one. Dave Parker was also in it. 75, my favorite player growing up, George Brett. Rookie card. Also had Robin Yount. Uh, I believe Dwight Evans, Fred Lynn. Uh, missing a couple other guys in there. So 75 was not only a great card design, but also had a lot of good feature Hall of Fame rookie cards come out of it. 76 had, who, yeesh. Who came out of 76? Dude. I'm drawing a blank here. Um, Ron Guidry. Ron Guidry was in there. That's the only one I can think of right now. 77 had Andre Dawson, had Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy actually had back-to-back -back prospects cards when they had uh, four players pictured. He had one in 77 and one in 78. So Dawson and uh, Dale Murphy. And 78. Let's see, I already went through. No, I didn't go through all these. 78 had uh, Eddie Murray. Ah, oh, pop my knee. Had uh, Lou Whitaker and Alan Trammell. Yeah. Anybody else? That's all I can think of for now. I go through these. Pat Scanlon. Yeah, sideburns guys. Yep. Yeah, all right. Bill Almond. Or is it Bill Ammon? Maybe he hasn't fallen off the tree yet. Who knows? You get two Jackson, 77, with 613 plate appearances, 261 hitter. Oh, crap, look at this. Padres regular shortstop last season. Billy was baseball's first selection in the June 1974 draft. Wow. Nice. There's Dave Garcia. France Molinix. Dave LaRoche. La 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 Gilrush, Gilrush, Dyer Miller. He's in dire straits here, apparently. 
ballpark looks familiar too. Mm, maybe not. Gary Nolan. Gary Ross. Looks like he. Or he's got to be from the Midwest. I'm just guessing. He's from. Uh, never even heard of. I'm from California, Cardiff, California. Never heard of it. Born in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Only won 25 games in like 30 years pitching. Mike Barlow. Look at Dave Chalk just hanging out, waiting for his, waiting for his turn. And uh, apparently got quite a few of them, and it's a lot of plate appearances. We got Jerry Remy, little short guy. Uh, yeah, five nine, pretty short. Randy Jones, not to confuse with the the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh yeah, we got Randy Jones here. Looking at look this finger out of the glove right there. Looking to see what the catcher's calling. Speaking of which, maybe you guys don't know this. Since I'm doing the Macho Man skit. The Macho Man was, he almost, he was professional uh, into the minor leagues. Baseball player. Actually pretty darn decent ball player from all accounts I've read and heard about. Um, but I think he probably made the better decision. George Hendrick, not to be confused with um, Jorge Hendrick. Dave Tomlin. Jen, Gene Richards, not to be confused with Ben Richards from The Running Man. Bakersfield Butcher. We got a hey, champion. This guy's a champion. Oh, sorry. This guy's a champion here. Got Mike Champion. Hey, Randy Jones back again. Bob Shirley. Shirley better... Trim up that stash there if he wants to go out on a hot date. Padres team card. Where's Ozzy? Wait, 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 wait. Um, no, he wasn't in this because his rookie card was 79, which I'll get to here in just a second. Tomlin, Scandalous Scanlon, Bob Ochinko. There's Gene Richards again. Printing flaw. Tom Griffin. Dan Spilner with that stash pass again. Man, I got this apparently from a Padres fan or something. Bob Davis. There's that Garcia guy again. Thad Bosley. Sounds like a company. Mike Barlow again. Then we got Mike Ivey looking disgruntled. Hey, man, I need my time in the batting cage too because I'm pretty decent, I guess. Hey, Joe Rudy. Nice. Nice outfield. I remember him playing third base with the. Oh, I remember like I was alive even then. Third base with the A's had a nice career with the A's. Let's see. He had. Uh, I'm not gonna call those full seasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven full seasons with the A's, where he did some damage. Almost knocked in a hundred runs in '74. It's pretty big stuff back then. Terry Humphrey. Got Dave Chalk still waiting his turn. Yeah, we got some, oh, how in the heck do you pronounce this guy's name? Andy Echebaron, I guess. Oh, man, this guy played a long time. Catcher, wow. Didn't set any records, that's for sure. Tony Soleta? I don't know. Samoan. Ah, interesting fact here. In case you ever have this question posed to you, which uh, that's about one in an infinity chance. This Tony Soleta uh, was the first player ever to hit three homers in a game at Anaheim Stadium. Tony, oh, he was playing with the Royals. So before he was even an angel, he did him in. He, he turned the trick like he's a magician. For the Royals against the Angels, September 7th, 1975. All three carried over the center field fence. So, no cheapies for Tony. Got Ron Jackson supporting him. Hey, Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch. Good player in his time. Gabe LaRoche again. Gary Ross. Gary Nolan. Lyman Bostic. Lyman. 
three thirty. What the heck? Oh crap! Hold on. I gotta plug my phone in. Sorry, technical difficulties. Technical. Whoops. No, they really are. Oh, sophomoric of me. Oh, rookie-ish. There we go. Well, we won't have the light here for a second. It is what it is. Lyman Bostic. Miller, Thad Bosley, Lyman Bostic for the third time. This manager guy for the five millionth time. Baylor Moore. Mario Guerrero. Yep. Henry Cruz. Looks like he's getting ready to go on a cruise. On disabled list, first year at Bakersfield. It happens. Ralph Gar. Man, these guys, look at this guy. Let's take a look here. Ralph. See, at this time, dude was born in 45. So he was 32 or 33. Dude looks like he's 50. I guess that's why they say the 50 is the new 30. Well, I can tell you, 41 doesn't feel like the new 21, at least for me. Moving right along, we got Dave Goltz. Um, signing it for a tip. Butch Weiniger. Gene Mock. Well known filler. Bob Gorinsky. Amos Otis. John Wathan. Ended up coaching the Royals, I think in the 90s. Andy Hasler. This dude looks tall. 6'5, yeah. How in the hell do you pronounce this? Joe Zedib? Joe Deb? Zeb? Dude, how do you pronounce this guy's name? Check out his stats. Not much to check out. Well, he did hit 297 and 195 at plate appearances in 77. Paul Splitorf. Lamar Jackson. Look at Lamar. Cool as the other side of the pillow. Good old Lamar. Good old White Sox unis, too. Alan Bannister. Checklist. Larry Durker. His name's still around. Long career here. Oh, my back. Long career. ERA of 3.30. Nowadays, you're one of the best around. Here's the Blue Jays. This is their inaugural... Well, they started in 77, right? 76, what year was there? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to help Jim Clancy. Let's see. Yeah, Blue Jays. So 77 was their first year. Roy Howell. Jerry Johnson. Ron LaFleur. Joe Sambito. Got Tom Verzer. Phil Mankowski. Enos Cabell. Milt Wilcox. Look at him just looking in for the sign. Bill Bonham. Hey, Burt Blylevin. There we go. Hall of Fame pitcher. 2.79 ERA through, what, eight big league seasons at that point? Champ Summers. Checklist. Don Mullet or Gullet. Daryl Knowles. This is Beyonce Knowles. Biological father. And if you're going to believe that, I don't even know what to say. Lengthy career, though, for Mr. Knowles. 3.11 ERA in his career. Indians team card. Hey, here's a guy who's still around, Dwayne Kuyper. 1978 tops Dwayne Kuyper. He is the play-by-play -play guy for Giants Broadcasting. Him and Mike Kruko, they've been doing it for years. And since I really haven't watched a whole lot of baseball, I'm going to assume he is still doing it. Dwayne Kuyper. Pat Dobson. Larvel Blanks. Padres team card again. Tom Griffin. Jamie Quirk. Ended up being a catcher for the A's. Moose Haas ended up pitching for the A's. I mean, this is in the 80s. Bob McClure. 
Jim Slayton. Ed Kirkpatrick. It's got to be weird having a very short first name and a long last name. Terry Harmon. This guy looks like a detective. His collar's all jacked up. You'd think the photographer would have been like, Hey, Jer uh, Terry, fix your collar. Larry Christensen. Almost looks like he's got an ear pierced right here. Hmm. Steve Dunning. That isn't airbrushed or anything. He bouncing around teams. Dell Unser. Nice little in action shot here of Mr. Unser. Hit 12 jacks that year. Not bad. Oh, man. I've always loved this guy's name. First of all, classic Braves Uni there. Biff Pokoroba. Good old Biff. Did Biff out eight jacks and only 321 plate appearances in 77, which back then wasn't too bad. I'll say it like I know about it. Tom Pasork. And we got the Braves team card. Braves, Braves, Stompa Sork again. Buzz Capra. Oh boy, Buzz. So they had Buzz and Biff. He's a pitcher, so. <laughs> That's funny. Where'd he go? Yeah. Where'd he go? Where are you hiding, dude? Ah, there you are. Look at this combination Buzz pitch to Biff. Wow. Rick Camp. Rod Gilbreath. Ew. Pre Michael Strahan right there. Roland Office. <laughs> Roland Office. Oh boy. Roland Office. Wow. That's funny. He enjoyed me. He went nine for twelve and one. Uh, hit over seven RBIs during streak. Wow. I was called it a day after that. Hey, Jeff Burrows, slugger back in the day. Right there, forty-one jacks, one hundred fourteen ribbies in seventy-seven. He packed a punch. Oh my God, dude! You know who this looks like? Oh, and I hate to, I, I'm almost ashamed to admit that I know it. Ross Grimsley, he is going for the lead singer of the Oak Ridge Boys look here. Is this Ross Grimsley or the lead singer of Oak Ridge Boys? Don't know. Nelson Bryles looking a lot like uh, uh, Brian Dennehy from Rambo First Blood there. Before he went... Out the chopper. It happened. Whoa, lengthy career for Dennehy. I mean, Nelson Bryles. Wow. Lengthy. He only pitched in two games. Why even make a card? He pitched in two games. Probably retired after this season. Born in Doris, California. Yet again, I'm from California. I've never heard of Doris. Orioles team card. Let's see. I can find him on here if he is on here. Yeah, I don't see him on here. Looking for Eddie. Eat, drink, and be Murray. Boy, a 78 is taking up some time. Tony Muser, I'm up to like almost half an hour. Scott McGregor. I used to have a Scott McGregor glove when I was a kid. Hadn't come into his own yet. Dave Skaggs, not to be confused with Ricky Skaggs. Need something for an arm, not to mention a chair. This is kind of an awkward angle I'm filming at. That's why most of the cards were like this when I film it. Dave Skaggs. Hey, hey, Oak Ridge boy. So we got Ricky Skaggs and Oak Ridge boys. Larry Harlow. A little disgruntled there. Tommy Helms. Sid Mong. Munge, Sponge. I don't know. Jim Willoughby. Oh, we got that one dude again. Gary Nolan for the 15th time. Bosley, Rance Molnix. Angels team card. 
Got tugboat right there. Enrique Romo. From Santa Rosalia, Mexico. All right, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Julio Cruz. Hold on. Oh, that's perfect almost. Julio Cruz, still in the 70s here. Don Kirkwood. No, no airbrushing at all involved here. John Stearns. Leo Fosterchild. Pat Zachary. He used to be a red. I think. Bob Mimrick. How do you expect to pitch with this on? Almost look like he's in some NASA jumpsuit or something. Same with this guy, Skipple. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Skip Lockwood. Let's look at Lockwood stats. Not bad, I guess. He did have only a only pitched in forty eight innings though, and seventy five only had a one point five zero ERA. So, sorry, Skip, but it's kind of funny. We got Tom House of Pain, Jim Todd, Juan Bernhardt. Bob Stinson, Glenn Abbott, Jim Todd, Dave Roberts, not to confuse with the Dave Roberts managing the Dodgers right now. Daryl Knowles again. Steve Ontiveros. Huh. Pete Broberg. No no airbrushing going on there. Jackie Brown. Oh man, I gotta rest my back. Oh, it's tightening up. Oh. All right, now, maybe like this will be better. Now we're moving on to the 70s. Here's George Brett's brother, Ken Brett. 79, Ozzy Smith, rookie year. Big rookie in 79. Uh, we got Brian Downing. Nice glasses there. I know he played all those years with the White Sox. Another Kim Brett, Kim Brett, another Brian Downing. We got Larry, Ken Lendro. Chuck Baker. Tucker Ashford. Another Randy Jones. John De Aquisto. Marv Retneman again. We had him as a Padre before, but now Angel. Bobby Gritch. Eric Rasmussen. Looking a little. Mm, Mischievous there. Chris, take a nap. Ah, look at this. All-time record holders. Batting average. And season is Rogers Hornsby with the Cardinals. And a career was Ty Cobb with the Tigers. Hornsby batted 424 in 1924. So we haven't seen anybody bat over 400 since Ted Williams in 41 and only how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys have batted over 400 in a season. And there's Bill Allman again. Wayne Nordhagen. Gene Tennis. Another guy. From well, that was rude. It said it got to my maximum recording length. Gene Tennis was a big catalyst in the A's success in the 70s. So I got his stats there with the A's. Dave Roberts. Bill Allman again. Jerry Turner. Man. That, I wonder if that hat is his true <laughs> head size. Oscar Gamble, Pete Vukovic, Tim Johnson, Steve Kemp, Bobby Gritch, Wayne Nordhagen, Alan Bannister, Wilbur Wood, Don Kissinger. Long career. Hit 13 home runs in like 56 years. Week. Paul Thermodskard, Freddie Potek. Speedy guy. Scrappy player. Ray Burris. Raise your hands if you're sure. We got Raphael Landestoy. 
Dennis Lamp. Daryl Knowles again. Ivan De Jesus. Ted Cox. Hector Cruz and Jesus Alou of the Alou Brothers. All those years playing with the Giants. All right. That does it for the 70s. I'm going to go ahead and break this up when we get into the 80s and, and so on and so forth. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Whoa, crap. There they go. We'll see you at the next one.